In this quick video, we're gonna take a look at the Nog Blinder Mini front light. So I just bought this off Amazon.com, $22 shipped, which is probably the least expensive Nog light they have. Four years ago, I bought a Nog Blinder rear light for I think $65 about, and I actually really love it. It's been my best back, back rear light I've ever had. I still use it to this day, it works perfectly. I do have a video where I reviewed that as well. And by the way, they didn't send this to me free or any kind of thing like that. I just bought this off Amazon myself. Anyway, let's uh, open it up and take a look at what we have. I should mention this type of front light is really made to be seen by others, not really to see in the dark yourself. So this is more for using during the daylight or, or near dark times or something like that. Uh, I don't believe this is really made to be where you see the road, although it might be able to um, do that, um, but it's not really what it's made for. The company is an Australian company. I know that from my last product I bought from them. I kind of looked them up a little bit. It seems like a pretty legit company. They sell a number of lighting products, mostly for bicycles, but also for running and other things like that. Okay. I guess I'm not opening this properly because that's way harder than it should be. Okay, we got it. Come on out, got it. And they have this miniature, mini, mini, mini instruction manual, which is pretty cool starter guide actually. The concept with this light is the same as the rear nog that I have, rear nog light that I have in terms of how it mounts, which is uh, basically you have a rubberized elastic type uh, strap and you just wrap it around and this part here hooks. Let's see. Hooks like that. And if you need a different size, it comes with two sizes. Looks like this one that is on it right now is the smaller one. And then you can go with the bigger one if you want, if you need. Uh, the other one I bought was quite a bit more expensive. I think I paid $65 for that one. Anyway, let's go ahead and turn it on and check it out. Yep, you hold down for a moment to uh, turn it on. You know, it's hard to, to really tell the, the brightness on a camera you know, but uh, let's go through the modes. It's very bright to look at, I can tell you that. <laughs> okay, that's the blinky mode, standard blinky mode. I have more of a, I've been calling that like dragon breath or something. Another blinky mode. <laughs> Are we on three modes now? Here's, I lost count. Four modes, another blink. I like that one actually. And a solid, so. One, two, three, four, five, and solid. So you have five modes, nice. Usually these will be much more efficient in terms of battery life on a blinking mode. And that's simply because of the fact they're on less amount of time. So I oftentimes like to use a blinky mode to save battery life. Let's take a quick look at the this, this specs. I think there's a couple on the back here. So it's USB rechargeable. That's an interesting feature of it. Just like my other NOG, you just plug the whole device right into your computer or anything you want to charge it with. My, uh, my other one was like that as well. By the way, you long hold to turn it off, just like when you turned it on. Uh, my other one's like that too, and at first I wasn't sure if I would like that. Is it going to hold up? You know, is it going to get damaged? But actually, I'm a big fan now. I've, I've been con sorry, I've been convinced. Uh, it's so nice not have to worry about wires. You just plug this in anywhere you are, anywhere you go. Um, it's just super convenient. Works good, 100%. I'm sold. That's a nice solution. What else was I saying? Oh yeah, about the specification. So the USB chargeable, right on board. You have two straps for different size uh, diameter seat post, handlebars, whatever. In this case, handlebars probably. Visibility, it says 800 meters. I think our, my other one was a bit more, probably around, I don't remember exactly, the, over a thousand meters. Uh, just text, talks about a battery technology there. Um, peak lumens 20, which isn't a lot, but it can tell you in real life, you don't want to look at that. So it's pretty bright. 
uh, waterproof IP67, which is standard. Um, Runtime on EcoFlash 11 hours. Now that's always impressive. And it's the same thing with my other one. It still has a very long battery life. In the description of my other video, I did mention uh, that I did a test to see actually how long it lasts. And I don't remember what it was, but it was really close to what they advertised. So I would believe in whatever the most economic mode this is, it will probably do 11 hours. Oh, it's mentioning that it fits aerodynamic and standard seat posts or handlebars. 18 grams is the weight. Here it mentions again the five different modes. All right, enough talk, let's try it out. All right, let's go ahead and stick the light on my bars. I think this is a 31.8 millimeter bar. And this is actually slightly uh, bendable. You can see there, maybe you can see. That bends a little bit, so I think it'll fit, whether you have a small bar like that, let's see if it'll fit. Yep, can fit on the small part or it should work also on this larger part. Ooh, okay, for the larger one, it looks like we're gonna to need to go with the bigger band. You can see that one's quite a bit longer. So I'll pop that off there. Now that's a much tighter fit, but let's see if we can slip it through. All right, there it goes. Now let's stick this through here. I think just the way you took it off, the same way. The way you take it off. There we go, that looks good. All right. I got it set back correct, and now we have the bigger band, so let's go ahead and go ahead and mount it and see how that works. So basically the bigger band works better with the uh, bigger bars, the 31.8 millimeter bars. Anyway, let's go outside and take a look at how it actually looks. One quick tip for all your accessory mounts and kind of rubber band type of things, I just put them all in one bag. Uh, that way I don't lose them because if you don't put them somewhere you will of course lose these things So they all go in one bag with all that type of stuff. So I know at least if I need it, it's in here somewhere And by the way, don't mind this big box here. So it has nothing to do with it. Uh, we did a bike parade the other day, so I Decorated the bike with some lights Okay, it is exactly 520 and the sun goes down at 523, so pretty much we're at sunset right now. I'm gonna ride all the way down to the end of that, where that stop sign is and come back, and you can take a look at how the light looks. All right, coming back. Okay, time now is 5.47, so about 10 to 15 minutes after sunset. Let's go check out what it looks like. And by the way, one nice feature about this is that it will remember what setting you are on last after you turn it off and turn it back on. Anyway, go ride down there to the stop sign and we'll see what it looks like. Time now is 627, totally dark. Let's see how this works as a front light, which I don't think it's intended for. Okay, here we are in a darker section, and uh, it's kind of like I expected. It's better than nothing, kind of like your cell phone or something. Better than nothing, but not very good. Here's a very dark section coming up. Yeah. I mean, it's way better than nothing. I can see the road at least. You know, I can see the road, but it's, it's not that great. You wouldn't want to use this as your primary front light, 
but in a pinch i guess it'll work all right that's about it thanks everybody for watching see you guys in the next one